Today is the last day of early voting, and if the numbers indicate anything, there's a whole lot of interest behind Prop 1. Yeah, it's going to determine whether ride-sharing drivers will have to undergo mandatory fingerprint background checks. Okay, Wida is live at one of the more popular voting locations, the Travis County Clerk's Office in Central Austin, to break down those numbers. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Yeah, you could really say both sides of this issue are in their final push to get voters to the polls. And one of the big reasons is because Uber and Lyft have threatened to leave Austin if voters decide to vote down Proposition 1. So let's take a look at the numbers for early voting. So far, nearly 44,000 people have voted, and we still have today to count. And we look back at the last time there was a Saturday election. That happened back in 2013 for an AISD bond that was worth $892 million. And during that time, a little over 19,000 people voted early. And there's been a big push to get you to the polls. Uber and Lyft have spent more than $5 million in advertising, whereas the other side, the political action committee called Our City, Our Safety, Our Choice, has received donations totaling 88000 Now, those four Proposition 1 say millions of dollars were needed to make sure voters understand what they call deliberately confusing ballot language. So a vote for Prop 1 means that you think drivers should stick to the standard criminal background checks without getting fingerprinted. Voting against it means you want drivers to get fingerprinted. Former Austin Mayor Lee Laughingwell says because the light rail failed with voters, this is the next best option. But now we have TNCs, which will pro definitely increase mobility for people across the city and improve our transportation options. And it doesn't cost taxpayers any money. It's free and it's an improvement in our mobility and we ought to take it. But current Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Tovo believes every driver for hire in the city should be required the same standard, which is fingerprint background checks. You know, we require that for individuals who are driving people around on pedicabs. I mean, that is a standard practice that we use for all, all drivers of any kind of vehicles for hire in the city of Austin. This, the ordinance that we adopted would simply bring TNC drivers into that same, that same consistent body of regulation. And the polls for this very last day of early voting opened up just a few minutes ago at 7 o'clock. They close at 7 o'clock tonight, and then Election Day is this coming Saturday. For now, we're live in Central Austin. Kate Wida, KXAN News. All right, Kate, thank you very much. Uber and Lyft have said they're going to pull out of Austin if the votes don't go their way, but riders would still have options in that case. Companies like Z-Trip, Wings, and Get Me say they're going to keep operating here in Austin. We also wanted to know that if Uber and Lyft leave, would you still be able to get a ride in those services from outside the city limits and then get, say, somewhere into town? Well, nobody's answering that question right now. Even their drivers who service the suburbs are in the dark. But they haven't even mentioned about the outlying areas, the suburbs. They just recently got started in San Marcos. Both companies say right now all of their focus is on Proposition 1.